Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ramya Pandi. I am consultant pediatric neurologist at Ankara Hospitals, Hyderabad. Today we will learn about hydrocephalus. So what is hydrocephalus and why does it occur in children? So we will see the causes and then how to treat it. The word hydrocephalus is self-explanatory. Hydro means water as most of us know. Cephalus means brain. So the water is locked in the brain. Generally also we have a system called ventricular system in the brain wherein uh, it is made to nurture the brain and uh, smoothen its metabolic functions. So as such we all have some water in brain. That is called as cerebrospinal fluid, CSF. And it also has a production side, traveling side and then an absorption side. Suppose if any of the side has problem, then there will be obstruction to the normal flow of the CSF because of which it will lead to accumulation of the CSF which we call it as hydrocephalus. So coming to the symptoms, how will the child present? Again, it depends upon the age, how the child present. Suppose if the child has hydrocephalus before the AF is closed, AF is nothing but anterior fontanel that is a smooth spot near the top of the brain which will feel for every newborn child. So generally it closes uh, at around uh, one year of age, 9 to 18 months it, it varies. Before that the child bones are not very stiff that uh, they can't expand because anterior fontanel is open. So it can accommodate some amount of the expanding water. So the head size will start increasing as the first symptom. When the accommodation further can't be done then the child will have symptoms such as vomitings and then child also will have the eyes which will look always down the eyes can't move up and look upwards so this is called a sun setting sign so these will be the general presenting features in a child with open af suppose if this hydrocephalus or water logging occurs to the af is closed that means the bony cage is already formed so the further expansion of the head size or head size cannot accommodate the accumulating water in such cases the, usually the symptoms will be headache, vomitings and then uh, if it is an unaddressed then seizures also might occur and they can also have vision problems because the eye nerve is connected to the brain there will be swelling of the eye nerve because of which the vision also will get affected. So these will be the symptoms. Now what are the causes? As I told you there is a production side and there is a traveling side and there is an absorption side. If there is uh, excessive production which is not matching with the absorption then also a child can have this hydrocephalus but this per se causes are little rare there are not very common causes next is the path if there is some obstruction to the path anywhere then also there can be accumulation of water previous to the site of the obstruction so if there is obstruction in the pathway then the water will be logged in the preceding areas where the obstruction is there. These causes are very common. So where the path is not uniform, like it doesn't uh, have a very uniform structure, some places are a little narrower and some places are a little wider. So most common cause will be the obstructive kinds. So in that, the causes again can be congenital, wherein by birth itself, the area which has to, uh, the path which has to go is obstructed already. And next most common cause is the infection. Generally, the CSF, whatever I told, is uh, all watery like it is very smooth and free flowing uh, suppose if there is infection cause uh, some materials to get accumulated in the brain so that this water will become thick because of this thickness has increased where the there are narrow spaces where the water has to pass they will get obstructed because of the material which is there in the water so this is one more very common cause of such uh, problems then the other causes are the malformation of the pathway itself. So the path has to be smooth. Suppose during the formation of the brain itself, the path is not very smooth. The, the, the formation of the path is not good. They are called as congenital anomalies. In that case also, the child can have obstruction. The next side is the absorption site. The causes for the absorption site are also, the main cause of the absorption site will be again infections. This infection, as I told you, the water will become thick. So this thick part and that material will go and block the area where the absorption has to occur. So these are the causes. So then how do we treat it? As I told you, this water is nothing but the path is obstructed somewhere or there is increased production. D again, the treatment also will, will uh, depend upon the cause. So in that what we have to do, suppose the production is very high. Generally that is because of the tumor or uh, papillomas. Those can be removed surgically and uh, there are some drugs that will help temporarily to decrease the production of the CSF. Then if the pathway is obstructed, what should we do? Logically we should create an another path. So for that the most common uh, surgery that we do is VP shunt. Meaning we will shunt the fluid from the brain and to get absorbed into the abdomen. So it will start from here and 
then go till here. So that is the most common thing. But there are few conditions wherein directly we can't put VP shunt. Those conditions are mainly infections. Why? Because the tube again is a narrow one. As I told you, the water is very thick in infection. So first the infections need to be treated and then the VP shunt should be placed. So temporarily we will do another step. We will have to go for another step that is called reservoir placement. Reservoir placement is nothing but we will place a small tube with a small holding reservoir in that. And then whenever the CSF is getting accumulated, we have to remove it manually. And if the, if there are, the infection is not there and it is only the obstructive part, then there is something called as uh, endoscopic third ventriculostomy which can be done in few selected cases wherein we will create an another path within the brain itself so that the absorption also will take in the brain itself. Um, sometimes if that does not uh, give results then we have to convert it into VP shot. So this is how we treat the kids with hydrocephalus. For any further queries or questions you can uh, comment below. Thank you.